8.44, Monday. I've lost all track of days. We've been up since 4.30 this morning and we've just arrived at Lake Como. Oh my gosh. It has been a day. It's been hectic. We're in Lozano, which I, I just thought I was booking Lake Como and that's a, like, I don't really know what I was thinking. I was just like, oh, like, I'll just book Lake Como and it's all like the same area, but it's actually obviously a huge lake and you can book anywhere. And yeah, it's like, we're about an hour away from Como. Yes. Which I didn't realise until we got here. Which would have been okay if, you know, we could have caught a taxi here or, you know. No, the only way to get is a bus. It's an hour bus let's ride. Just, let's just talk through our day. So, we're up at 4.30. I was up at 4. Same as I was up at 4. We were in Grindlewood, Switzerland, which you would have seen from my previous vlog. Headed straight to the train station. What time was our first train? Quarter past six. 6.15, we caught the train from Grindelwald to Switzerland. Then we had a few, no, I just said Switzerland. Yeah, from Grindelwald to Zurich. Then we had a few hours and then we caught the train from Zurich to Como. That was all pretty seamless, would you say? Yeah, for the most part. Once we got here, we were like, we'll try and just get an Uber to the hotel. All of our Ubers were cancelling on us. So we are like, we'll just get a taxi. So we walked down to the taxi guy and we're like, hey, like, can we... Can we need to get here? And he was like, oh no, like Ubers and taxis won't won't take you there. And we're like, awesome. And he was like, oh, there's like a bus station down there. And we're like, okay, okay. So we walked to this like bus station that was the closest one. Well, before that. Okay, sorry, did I miss something? Well, no, you didn't. But before that, there's like, it was so confusing for us because there's like the bus stop at the train station. Mm. And the sign, like you look it up on Apple Maps because you can do like public transport on Apple Maps. And it says that the bus that we want goes to the train station. And yeah. then goes to work as a sweet woods wait here so we're waiting there for about 10 minutes then we're like oh but the taxi driver told us oh you can't catch the bus from here you've got to go somewhere else yeah and we're like oh but and i was like oh maps is saying we can so we'll just i don't know maybe he's wrong we'll just trust map yeah over the local which was a mistake yeah. but anyway so i'm like oh and then i see this like sign posted being like this bus stop is closed at the bus stop runs here so it's like a half an hour walk to where that bus starts and i just want you to picture like both of us these like cobbly, cobbly streets yeah. and both of us just pushing our like 30 kilos worth of luggage just like <laughs> like stinking hot we're still in like well I was still in like my jumper like we were just like head down like let's get to this bus station we get to the bus station we get there and we're like is this even the right bus station we ended up asking someone we're like okay yeah we, we've, we're at the right place it's 50 minutes until the next bus. Well, that was okay. We got some food, we got some drinks. We were kind of just like waiting there and it gets like a little bit closer, a little bit closer to when the bus is like supposed to take off. And like this swarm of people just like start gathering. And we're just like, are these all trying to get onto this bus? Because they only run once every hour. So it's like full. And there's no line. There's, there's no, no like line. line up. It's like they just crowded around the front of the bus. And yeah. We got suitcases, so it's like line. <laughs> yeah, we were like at the back. And so yeah. we were just hoping that we could actually get on this bus because if we didn't, then we'd have to wait another hour and then whatever. The same thing happened. Anyway, we managed to squeeze on the bus. Sam, literally, like, the door shuts, like, basically on you. Like, mm -hmm. right next to the door. Anyway, we squeezed on the bus. We were just... <laughs> I actually, like, couldn't help but laugh. I did get a little quip because it was just, like... <laughs> just staying there and this bus was packed to the brim like I was like falling on people then it was a 50 minute bus ride from the bus station to here and the roads are just so it's like it's very how it's how I remember Italy like the roads are so 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 tiny and like there's these buses just trying to like both get past each other but we made it the view is 10 out of 10 oh my gosh okay yeah <gasps> you're kidding again it's not real, it's a green screen. A green screen, it's a green screen. Why can't I say that? It's it's a green screen. It's a green screen. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's, a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a green screen. We are staying at Hotel Villa it's beautiful. Aurora. It's beautiful. I'm, They've I, got their own little lounge area, they said. They have their own restaurant, their own like beach club. You can get Santa paddle boards and kayaks and everything for free when you stay here. And I'm not gonna lie, when we were catching the bus here and we were just going so far out of coma, I was like, I. I have no idea where I've yeah. booked. Like I was kind of a bit like, oh, I'm not in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but this is beautiful. And they've got every like you just said, they've got everything here for you. So and there's like a ferry, a ferry place just down the road that you can catch a ferry to. Going across the other side. Over there tomorrow. Yes, sir. To open air markets. To the markets because they're on on Tuesday, and we just happen to be here for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And we're going over there to that villa over there. It's a very iconic location. Sam apparently can't leave here until we've gone to you the can't. Star Wars. 
wedding spot. You, you don't make it sound that good. If you're a Star Wars fan, you know it's yeah. iconic. Like, I didn't come okay. all the way to yeah. Lake Como just to not okay. go there. Yeah. No, I'm That's kidding. Right there. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go. We're going Sometimes to go. Sometimes you book here. Imagine if you booked in Como, I know. we had to come all the way I, this, is, I, this was the, the plan the whole time. We booked dinner tonight at 7, which actually isn't really too long away. It's an hour away. So we thought we'd go for a quick swim, because this is the first the first swim of the trip. I know, it's so much European summer. I feel like European, our Euro summer starts here. Obviously it started like two weeks ago, but it really feels like it's like started here. Can I give a shout out to the Antlers? It has been on some rough day. <laughs> These suitcases and we have, abused it. <laughs> have been abused. Like between Amsterdam and here, <laughs> yeah. the, the pavement is like this. <laughs> like, we want to get to our hotel, so we're just like. <laughs> we're going to get changed into some swimmers. Go down to the beach club swim because how could we not? There's still people swimming out there as well. And the sun doesn't set until like 9 9.15, I think. So we've got ample time. Swim, Excuse dinner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Part about this place is it has a laundry facility. Yes, I'm so happy about the laundry facility. I don't know what my clothes. Time to pee. Time. <laughs> time to pee. <laughs> I, can't, I can't speak. Time to pick a swimsuit. Oh, you've been waiting for this moment. I have. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is a one piece from Oakaline. I am still in my period. This just feels safe to me. That was really cute. <sighs> I've been waiting. Yes, this is it. Yeah. The waters of the glacial lake Como in Italy makes for the deepest freshwater lake in the country. Wow. Fresh water! This little short and overshirt set is Araminta James. I'm so excited! I cannot describe how happy I am right now. Look at this. <laughs> day two in Lake Como. Just gotten dressed and ready to head out. We're going to jump on a ferry over to the other side, which I think we said yesterday. There's some markets on. Just really explore, have a walk around. So this is my outfit. I went for these structured business pants from South Street. This little bodysuit is the comfiest thing I've ever worn. It's from Primark. I got it last year and I wear it all the time. It's just so comfy. I love it. Gone for a slick back look today. This is hair wash day and I couldn't be able to wash it. And I feel like it like goes with the outfit. I'm also changing up my sunnies from my usual ones. These are from Ocaline. And I think they just kind of like match the whole neutrals. I've also got my ballet flats on. Because I thought they went quite well. Jewelry. I've got just like my normal stud and sleeper. And then I put some bigger gold hoops in. Popped my... What is that? Quite on set. These watch on which is from Sendre. And then Sam actually gave me a necklace yesterday for an early birthday present. Yeah. Do you want to tell them what happened? Well, so has been whinging this whole... No, I'm kidding. So, So's necklace broke a while ago that she yeah. got in. When did you get to Hawaii? Hawaii, yeah. Got it fixed. First day on the plane, it breaks, it again, breaks again, which I don't think it was fixed properly. No, I don't think it was either. But Un unbeknownst fine. to her, I'd already bought her a necklace. Yeah. In Australia, yeah, and brought it over. <laughs> and so this whole trip, I've been really like, oh, <sighs> this outfit would look so much better with a necklace. I'm I don't feel the same. The well, I don't feel the same without my necklace. Like so dramatic of me. And find the urge not, not to give it to her early. Yeah. Um, which I wasn't going to. But then yesterday, put on a nice dress to go to dinner. I was like, oh, I've, a necklace would just complete this. And I was like, yeah, we're like five days away from your birthday. Like, yeah. Whatever. I was like, I know we're going to be in Italy for the next until your birthday and beyond. So. Mm -hmm. It's like a lot of nice dresses, which would go nice with a necklace. So I thought, oh, I'll give it to you early. And I love it. How beautiful is that? So simple and delicate. I love it. Exactly my jewelry style. You did well. So I will not be taking this off ever. And I think it does complete the outfit, don't you reckon? See? That's Sam. He just keeps saying see to everything taking, I say. I'm not even taking the mickey. I'm just getting used to like saying it to Yeah. Everyone. I'm just like, oh, good. And he's like, see. I'm like, cool. Yes. But anyway, we're going to head out. 
and I'm very excited for a day of exploring. We're really hoping that it clears just like a little bit this afternoon so we can go down to the beach club and like lie in the sun. We're still going down there. We're still going Even down. In the clouds. Yeah, exactly. Still warm. It does actually say that it's supposed to be raining all day and it's not just quite overcast, so I'm really hoping it stays like this and perhaps we get a little bit of sun. <laughs> Okay, so the last clip, where were we last on a boat? Yeah. And now we are <laughs> somehow in the middle of a rainforest. Yeah. We're going to the, um, what's it called? Villa del Balbalina, because it's the iconic spot from the movies. Except we didn't realize to get there you'd need to like hike. So I was wearing ballet flat. <laughs> so like we're, in, <laughs> we're really not equipped. This doesn't look that steep, but like this mountain, and it goes like zigzags all the way up. So. Yeah. We got about five minutes in and went, you know what, we won't do that. These pants are like, like they're Thick. keeping every ounce of heat in my body. Yeah. We're going to try and go back down. There's a, so this was the one kilometre route, which is supposed to take 20 minutes. But then you get to the second sign and it says 35 minutes. And so you're like, what's going on? The other route is like two and a half k's, but it goes around. I think it's like the scenic route. Yeah, it goes around by the water. So we're thinking it might be less hilly and maybe paved and not mud. We might try that, see what happens. Yeah, I didn't realise I was going to be doing a... Uh... We didn't. A mountain climb this morning. And it's it's deceiving because you get here and there's like an archway and like a, a paved road that goes off either way. And you're like, oh, cool. You start walking and then it's like this little sign and then like this dodgy sidetrack. And you're like, is that the way or is that just some service road? And then you see the sign and you're like, okay, I guess so. And it's just keeps going up and up and up. A lot of people coming up here are wearing like hiking boots. <laughs> yeah, everyone we pass is like, we've got like their hiking like backpack, backpack with the camelback water. Yeah. And we're like, um, like, um. I don't think we're, we came the right way. <laughs> We think that the signs were actually wrong because the way that we came back and walked was not 45 minutes, it was like 15 minutes tops. Yeah, and it was all paved. It was all paved, the rest of the tourists were doing that, so we definitely don't know what was going on there. But look how beautiful it is. This is the shop. Where am I? We found it. I already lined that up. Can you see that in the camera? Yeah. Where's the, hang on, there's no benches there obviously in the movie. Yeah, Railing. It looks pretty spot on. Oh, we're getting a photo there. Have I seen this movie? Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, ages ago. Everyone's helping each other get the, the Star Wars shot. I can't quite believe it. We came back to the hotel, had some lunch, and the sun has come out. Come down to the beach club. It's very quiet. There's like no one here, which is amazing. I brought down a new book to read, Beach Read by Emily Henry. I have heard such great things about this, so I'm so excited to read it. I bought it months ago, but I specifically wanted this to be like my beachy holiday read on this trip. I just couldn't think of anything more perfect than sitting by the beach, or in this case, the lake, and reading the beach read. Loved both Happy Place and Book Lovers by Emily Henry, so I'm so excited to read this. In this spot as well, like, it actually couldn't be more perfect. Sam's on the Aperol Spritzes. Yeah, it's Is this number three of today? Two. Two. Yeah. And oh, lunch. Today. Yeah, two of the sessions. <laughs> from Rome. We got here last night probably at like 5.36pm because we had a bit of a hectic travel day. 
to put it simply. We had a bus that we had to catch at 10.20 that was taking us back to Como, so kind of like just the center of Como. And so we like got ready, walked to the bus station, and we got there like 10 minutes early. And the bus was like, I think 30 minutes late or something like that. And so we were just like standing on the side of our road with our suitcases, just like hoping and praying that this bus came. So we were getting a bus into Como so that we could catch a train from Como to Milan and Milan to Rome. And so we were like stressing that if this bus was very late, that even though we'd allowed like 45 minutes extra time the bus was already 30 minutes late so we were like stressing that we would then wouldn't make the first train to then make the second train and on and so on the bus did end up arriving though about 30 minutes late and we hopped on and it was packed like we we're packed in little, little sardines because it's like so far out of Como there's only a bus that runs every hour but we were thinking more so like every basically two hours because I feel like they're always so delayed so definitely keep that in mind if you are relying on buses to get places allow like half an hour for it to be delayed and then with all the stops so we're standing on the bus just like pressed up against each other like with our suitcases and like so many other people had suitcases to the point where it was full it was full and then we were stopping and then so many people couldn't get on it and we were just thinking I actually don't know what we would have well, done that if that was us. Then got to the bus station and it was like a 20 minute walk from the bus station to the train station in Como. So we were walking over these cobbly streets with our, with our suitcases like... 20 minute walk that we did in about 13. And we like, did. We did actually smash it. Hold ass. The paddocks of travelling with your boyfriend are endless. But this has to be, has to be one of my favourites. There's two more sets of shit. We made it to the train station though, got on our train, had a bit of a fumble with our tickets, thinking that like because there's people that come around and check your tickets and we had our seat reservations so we showed our seat reservations the guy was like oh no like this isn't what we need and we were like huh this is what we've been showing every other train mm. ride that we had i won't go into it but we had to kind of do something on an app and we sorted it out we got to milan and it was crazy like crazy. i have never experienced that amount of chaos before and like busyness even like going to a concert shoulder to shoulder like with the suitcase it was crazy and then we went to like three different platforms thinking our train was three different trains we were just like back and forth <laughs> back and forth kind of screwed up a little bit because like we're going to rome but the train we booked its final destination wasn't Rome. the sign was not to rome it was to Na was it Naples? Na Na Napoli? Napoli? The confusing Napoli, thing yeah. was, is it said Rome departs at 110. And we were going to Rome and now at 110. At 110. And so we were like, that's clearly our train, but then the train number and was well, different. We were so close to getting that train. We were so close. We were about to board. We were about to board. Um, and I, because I even asked one of the, the people who worked there, and they said, yeah, yeah, this one. And yep. I was like, oh, so they obviously just looked at the time yep, and, and the, the destination. Place. And then I got to, and when you get to get on, there was another lady standing there. And I was like, oh, this doesn't feel right. So I was like, Oh, that's right, because we were in coach 10 and there wasn't a coach 10. Yeah, was that like, was that was the second red flag. So we then I like, showed her the ticket and she's like, nah, not this one. And so she said platform 8. So we were running platform 8 back platform and then eight. we get to platform There's 8. There's no train there. No train there, nothing on the sign. So you were like, I'm just going to go check like the big board again. And then I'm just staying there with the two suitcases. Sam walks back. He's like, platform 13. I'm like, okay. And wasn't the platform we were on before platform 14? 16. Oh, 16. So yeah, we were so like, hurt, yeah. hurt, hurt. So we were on carriage 10 which was right down the end and so we were like walking 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 and then it was like a minute before the train was supposed to leave so we we're like let's just get on this train and then we can like walk down the coaches while it's moving get on and then you're like waiting for people to put their thing up so you're like moving like can I tell about 10 lady, centimeters the lady where we were sitting what lady oh yeah we get to, we get to our seat our bags away and we're like oh, we're like looking at the seat numbers because you reserve seats yeah and it's a seat of four so like one, two, three, four table in the middle. There's just one lady sitting there and we're like, oh, we must be here. And she looks at us dead in the face and goes, <sighs> She, the and attitude I was just like, oh my she gave God. us. You don't get the whole four seats to yourself. No, she was, but she literally didn't even like look up and be like, oh, like, is this your seat? She was just like, looked at us dead in the face. I was sitting across from her and her feet were like between my legs. <laughs> She's sitting like this and her foot's like out here. And then she bumps me and sighs again. <laughs> And I was like, you bump me! My legs are I'm under the table. And she like she oh moves her foot gosh. and kicks my knee and we lock eyes and she goes, <sighs> and I was like, <laughs> this is a little bit crazy. <laughs> are you serious? And then there was this other lady that sat across from me and she took her shoes off and she oh. literally put her feet like on me. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. It was good. It was like a four hour train ride, I think. Pretty decent train ride. I edited for a bit, I read my book and then I fell asleep. A hotel actually stunningly was like a what 10 minute, 10 minute walk, walk from the train mm. station we're staying at the hive hotel which i think i found on tiktok or something it's really nice it's a really nice hotel mm. and i think it was relatively cheap as well it's like Highly it's, it's pretty good for like travel long day you just get here and it's yeah. it's all good they're like hey i'm coming very nice people. very yeah very lovely staff mm. happy to help out the rooms are nice we got to our hotel room and i literally said to sam i was like i don't want to leave the hotel room tonight and sam was like 
That's the best thing you've ever said. Because we're only here for two nights, obviously, and we got here late. I, I thought so. I was going to be like, all right, let's go. We're off to the Coliseum. And I was like, no, I want to stay here. But she's like, I'm not Don't leaving really. this room tonight. I was like, <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Uber Eats and we just completely relaxed and it was honestly yeah. the best thing. Yeah. And this morning we got up, went to buffet breakfast. Slept in a little bit. Yeah, we had a bit of a sleep in. I was going to get up, well, I was going to say to get up early this morning and go to the Trevi Fountain because I know that going there basically any time past like 7.30 mm -hmm. is very, very busy. But we were both just so tired that we were like, let's just like have a bit of a sleep in this morning and then we can get up tomorrow early mm. before we leave mm -hmm. and go today we honestly don't have too many plans like i don't know much about room other than the main tourism attractions i'll show you my outfit this is a dish little what do you call that like a vest and then these loose linen pants which i actually need you to help me get the last little bit again the last little bit is so hard i just can't do it myself i think these pants are from oh i'll pop it on the screen but they're very cute i thought good for a walking a day walking around room and then i've got white reeboks which i've worn basically non-stop on this holiday because they've been so comfortable. I usually get such sore feet whenever I walk a long time, but we've been doing like 20, 30,000 steps a day and these, my feet have felt phenomenal in them. Yeah, they're amazing. So, the Uniqlo little satchel, which has been an absolute godsend this entire trip because you can just fit so much in it. And I feel like it feels quite secure because you can just like pop it at the front of your body, you know? And I really can fit like both my cameras because I normally take this camera that I'm filming on right now and then my film camera as well and then my phone and then my wallet and then sunnies as well this is the exploring room outfit very comfy i think it's actually it says on on our weather apps that it's supposed to be super like cloudy today but the skies are blue and the sun's out and i think it's supposed to get to a top of 28 so it's quite warm but this is super flowy and comfy anyway so i thought i'd be fine see we still going with the italian we both took italian for years in school we are definitely picking up more of this language you're obviously not fluent in any way but there's like little things or like little words that i see that i'm like oh i remember that i recognize and know what it means i feel like it's all coming back to me which is kind of fun we've been trying to have conversations like very basic conversations in italian back and forth towards each other <laughs> so i'm just a c to everything i say <laughs> we've decided to walk to the trevi fountain area because i think the pantheon is quite close to that but everywhere we turn it's just like grand buildings yeah these beautiful grand buildings like how long have these been here for i feel like rome so far just feels like historic yeah it's pretty you know cool. what i mean it's pretty cool like this has been here for so long also this weather it was supposed to be oh. fully cloudy today we've lucked out again oh, they were built in 1583 oh my 1583 gosh. by pope gregory the five six seven eight 1583 the fact that this has been here for over 500 years it's just like unfathomable. We've made it to the Trevi Fountain. We're definitely coming back in the morning. We made it to the Spanish Steps. Yes, they're looking very Spanish. <laughs> walked up these steps. I regret not wearing shorts. According to Wikipedia, which is obviously why we look back and it's like 2,000 something years old. 2,000 years old. Okay. Insane. I'm your tour guide onto the net. <laughs> this Starbucks is so cool. It's like a, like a luxury Starbucks. I got a matcha. Of course. I haven't had a matcha in like three, three or four days. Boy, she's been whinging about it. <laughs> Yeah. Mmm, that is so good. It is 5.36 p.m. It started raining outside, so we came back to the hotel to just like relax a little bit. We thought we'd come to the gym while it's still raining. We haven't done a gym session this whole trip, so it's been a couple weeks. So I'm thinking just a full body, just get everything moving. Other than a lot of walking, which has obviously been great, my actual muscles haven't really been worked out <laughs> in a couple weeks. I feel like this is a very... Sophie outfit or what I would describe a very Sophie gym outfit as. These tanks are the comfiest and most flattering tanks I'll ever put on my body. I'm not wearing a sports bra underneath which you definitely could to make it more high support but for things like strength and Pilates and stuff like that I just literally wear the tank. They come in a bunch of colors and I just love them all. And then my shorts are probably my favorite Gymshark shorts of all time. Um, they are the legacy shorts and I just think they are and they are just so comfortable, so incredibly flattering. I feel. I really just hold everything in without cutting anything. 
Oh, do you know what I'm saying? I love them. I have them in every single color they come in. We will make sure to link both of these pieces in the description box along with my Gymshark discount code, which now works across the whole website. Anyway, let's go work out. Bacchanale. We tried to go to Asteria da Fortunata, I think it's called, which is behind us, but there was like a probably like an hour wait to go in, which is kind of sad because it looks really good, but we were very hungry and it's like 8 pm, so we came here. I got all the eggs, and Sam got what'd you get? I'm um, just a pasta with oil and garlic chili. That is so good. I'm glad I got this. Dark chocolate. Delicious. Oh. Mm. I got dark chocolate and the strawberry and it's so good. Ah. Ah. Something we've we've noticed about Rome is that the pedestrian crossings you kind of just walk and then cars stop. Yeah, Sometimes. They don't stop for you. you don't kind of wait by the road for them to stop because they won't. You've got to just send it. This is so good. Walking home after dinner with the gelato. There is simply nothing better. Sam is busting to pee, so we're pacing it. <laughs> it's so bad. In the gym, they had these like canisters, jug of water. Yeah. With like a tap on it, a couple liters. Yeah. Smashed a whole one of them in the gym, plus another <laughs> half while she came refilled it. Yeah. I just kept drinking it because it was like orange flavored. <laughs> and then I had a beer and then half a bottle of sparkling water at the thing. I've just been pissing every 20 minutes. <laughs> Sam also has the worst bladder I think I've ever experienced. Oh, terrible bladder. The worst. If I have a drop of water, I'm going to pee. <laughs> Sam also finished his gelato in literally 0.3 seconds. I haven't even hit cone before you finished yours. How have you finished yours is my question. Mine's already digested. <laughs> Rome is, yeah, chaotic. I feel like is the best word to describe it. Everyone is doing everything at once at every minute of every day. A lot going on is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, there is. Like this bike trying to run us over. <laughs> Pull in and then they like break at the last minute. Yeah. It's like in Australia, you you walk up to a crossing, the car will slow down, you'll give a wave, they'll give a wave, you'll cross the crossing. Here, you're in the middle of the crossing, and the Porsche doing 80 swings into the plane and then just goes, <laughs> stops about this far from you, and you're like, yeah, you're just, you're just trusting that you're not going to get run over you. You are really trusting. But people like just send it. They don't even like basically look. But you they can't. just step forward. No, but you can't because if you don't step out in front of the car, it's not going to stop. Yeah. If you stand on the curb waiting for it to stop, it'll just go through. It'll never stop. So you have to like just be like, all right, I'm just going to risk my life here. My legs already feel fatigued from today's workout. It's a bit silly to do legs, although we are going to be chilling it down now. That's what I thought. We're it's about still, to. We're about to basically <laughs> stop talking. I don't really know. Like on a holiday <laughs> where we're doing a lot of walking, stop. like 30,000 steps a day, and you did legs. Yeah, but we're about to literally Little bit do silly. We're about to do nothing for like a week. I don't think so. I bet you I bet you you'll find a way to make me walk half an hour for dinner. <laughs> and I'll be like, well, wish you didn't do legs now. I made us walk about half an hour to that Asteria de Fortunata restaurant that I'd heard about before we found out that we couldn't <laughs> well we could. But it was gonna be an hour's way. At least, yeah. So Sam's all, all I'm saying really happy with me. No, no I'm, I'm, it's fine. It was actually a right, nice walk, and it's nice to walk after dinner. It's a lot. All I'll say 
is that we walked all the way there. It wasn't available. Okay, we'll go somewhere else. We'll go somewhere else. On the walk back, I've seen maybe six or seven restaurants that I was like, we could have eaten there. And I wouldn't be having this piss problem because I'd already be home. <laughs> wouldn't I? Problem. I'd already be home. Okay. Instead, I'm not home and I need to pee. And we ate 34 minutes away. <laughs> but that's okay. When in Rome, right? When in Rome. That's what I always say. <laughs> for, the last, I, I for the last 12 hours. How are you doing? <laughs> it's just how I'm clenching, clenching my butt cheeks. <laughs> it's quite the cheeks <laughs> My cheeky little sod. Okay, go. Oh, I'm not sure the audio's on this bad. <laughs> Beautiful up close. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. We don't have a coin, so Soph's just gonna pretend. <laughs> no one carries cash these days. Oh, well, that was fun. I still made a wish. I didn't get to throw my band coin in. Okay, you, you throw yours in. I'm gonna throw mine in from here. Okay. Oh, I didn't wish. Oh, well. so we have made it to the Colosseum. Here she is. And we just walked past the Roman Forum, which is kind of like basically from our research. This is like the main part of Rome. Our Wikipedia research. Our Wikipedia research, that's what which is like. very accurate. Very basically the remains of the ancient Roman city, which is like... And like the Colosseum is here in the Forum, so this must have been like the main... Where is that? These AGMs? They've been here since 80 AD. These AGMs are ancient. I know my history. <laughs> Whoa. How crazy. I think this has been here so for like, so that's long. What I mean, my question is, are we saying that, like, see this pillar right here? Are we saying that stone was, like, sculpted in 80 AD and it's still here today? Yeah. It's, it's mind-blowing how much has been done to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I wonder how destroyed it would have been if they just never, ever, ever touched it. Couldn't recommend more getting up early and going to the most popular touristy attraction. Even just walking around it is just so much quieter. That's also my last day of being 23. You're not gonna get you a present. <laughs> You've already got me a present. And it's me. Your love. Yeah, I'm ready to get out of Rome and relax on a beach somewhere though. We are very keen to just lie Sipping at the cocktails. beach. At the beach club for the next few days. I'm gonna be smashing the Aperol spritz. <laughs> We've come back, quickly packed up. We mostly packed last night, which I'm very, very grateful for. You never regret doing it. You but never regret doing, doing it. it at the time yeah. Just to go to yeah. Head to the train station, hopefully try and grab a bite to eat there because we haven't had breakfast and we're about to, and yeah, maybe a coffee as well. Because we're about to be on a train for only an hour and a half actually, so it's not a long train at all today, which is lovely. We are catching a train to Salerno, so Rome to Salerno, and then we spend the next week in the Amalfi Coast. We are staying in Amalfi, but we're going to do day trips to like Capri and Positano. Very, 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 very excited. And it's my last day being 23. Ooh. 24. Oh, oh. Is there any songs with 24 in it? Or is there any songs with 23 in it that I can listen to for the last time today? Really hope you've enjoyed the Lake Como and Romo. Romo. What about 24 karat magic? 24 karat man. Doesn't exactly relate to the age, but. See you when I'm Alfie. Bye.